the seven contestants who appeared on the show once before, had missed out on the prize money, so they decided to try and win again, but only one of them could win up to £20,000, as round by round the rest of the team will be voted off this time as the weakest link. Welcome to the finalist losers edition of the weakest link. The seven people in the studio here today have all appeared once before, despite not experiencing the walk of shame in their previous appearance, they've missed out on the prize money in the final, so they decided to have a second chance of winning up to £20,000, but only one of them will win. They don't know each other, however, they should know from before. If they want to win that prize money, they'll have to work as a team, but, six of them will leave with nothing, as round by round we lose the player voted off this time as, the weakest link. Let's meet, the team. Hello, my name is Angela, I'm 44, I'm a local government officer, and on the first episode of the weakest link, I missed out on 10,250 pounds. I am Nicholas, I'm 46 years old, I'm a commodities trader, and on the second episode of The Weakest Link, I missed out on £9,600. Hi, my name is Ravi, I'm 25, I'm an accountant, and on the third episode of The Weakest Link, I missed out on £5,550. I'm Frank, I'm 35. I'm a barber, and on the fourth episode of The Weakest Link, I missed out on £13,600. Hello, I'm Evelyn, I'm 45 years old, I'm a musician, and on the fifth episode of The Weakest Link, I missed out on £7,750. Hi, my name is Mark, I'm 34 years old, I'm a car salesman, and on the 6th episode of The Weakest Link, I missed out on £13,250. I'm Megan, I'm 22 years old, I graduated from college, and on the 7th episode of The Weakest Link, I missed out on £9,400. Okay, just to remind you of the rules team, in each round. The aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your £2,500 target within the time limit. The fastest way is to create a chain of seven correct answers. If you say pass or get your question wrong, you'll break the chain and lose all that money in the chain. However, if you say the word bank before the next question is asked, the money is safe, but you'll start a new chain from scratch, as ever, the first question is worth £50. Remember team, at the end of the round only money that has been banked, can be taken forward. In round 1, there are 2 and a half minutes on the clock, we'll start with the person whose name is first alphabetically. And that's you, Angela. Let's play. The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Angela in the Mr. Bean TV series, what type of car does Mr. Bean drive? Mini Cooper. Correct Nicholas. In cookery what word follows the words icing caster and granulated which are the forms of common food stuff? Sugar. Correct Ravi. In maths what is three and a half multiplied by two? Seven. Correct Frank. In expressions if it's heavy raining it's known as raining what? Cats and dogs. Correct Evelyn. Which family of musical instruments does the saxophone belong to? Woodwind. Correct Mark. In human behavior after someone sneezes they mainly blow their nose with a what? Tissue. Correct Megan. The word nil is described as no points in which sport? Tennis. No football. I mean football. No I can only accept your first answer football is the correct answer. Angela on the moon you would find the sea of what? Tranquility. Correct Nicholas. Adam would you has appeared as Ian Beale in which TV soap opera? EastEnders. Correct Ravi. In spelling how many vowels are there in a word vowel? Two. Correct Frank. In the children's movie Thomas and the Magic Railroad which villain as character threatens to destroy the lost steam engine called Lady? Diesel 10. Correct Evelyn. 
In geography, what is the capital city of Egypt? Cairo. Correct, Mark. In chemistry, which of these have a negative charge, protons or electrons? Electrons. Correct, Megan. If someone was a volcanologist, what would they be studying? Sorry, what occupation did you say? Volcanologist. Is it volcanoes? Correct, Angela. Bank. Okay, you've reached and banked your 2,500 pound target. That money will go through to the next round, but one of you will not. Remember this team, you will have 10 seconds less in each round, and you must streamline the team. Somebody has managed to answer a question incorrectly in this very easy first round. Whose second chance of winning the prize money has been scrambled? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. In this impressive first round, Angela is the strongest link since she banked the money. Megan is statistically the weakest link because she was the only one to get a question wrong and she lost £1,750 for the team. But, in this early stage of the game, will the other players vote her off? Okay, voting over it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Megan. 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 Frank. Frank. What makes you want to try and win the prize money again? Because I was actually the best player of episode 4, because I got all of my questions right in the entire game. But since then I got confused with the question about the gorilla from Super Mario, when I should have said Donkey Kong instead of King Kong. If that was the case, I would have been in the sudden death along with Joseph, and see if he manages to get a question wrong, just like in round 6. I see. So you're still a barber then? Yes, I still am. And I bet you're still enjoying to give your clients many different hairstyles, right? Of course. And also, my dad and my two younger brothers came to my barber shop for haircuts as well. That sounds interesting. And what type of haircuts did you give to your dad and your brothers? I gave my dad a big afro, as he requested it. And for my brothers, one of them requested a high fade, and the other requested a cornrow. And I gave those styles to them. Really? And how much do these hairstyles cost? It costs £7.50 for the high fade, £9.99 for the cornrow, and £14 for the afro. And what about in general? Well, it costs between £5 to £15, as it depends on which haircuts I give them. Alright. So Frank, why did you vote for Megan? Because I'm pretty sure she was the weakest link, because she was the only one who got a question wrong. And she stopped us from reaching our target earlier in this round, by costing us a very huge amount of money in the process. Right. So Nicholas, it's been a long time since you missed out on the prize money. It sure is. And I'm just glad to be back for another go. And tell me why you want to try and win a game. Well, I was actually the stronger player in the second episode, and I was the strongest link four times in the game. But interestingly Nicholas, you got more questions wrong than Sarah did, and she managed to beat you in the sudden death round. I've just made a complete and utter fool of myself for that. Maybe if I didn't get the last head-to-head -head question wrong about Walt's diagnosed cancer, then I would have won for sure. Well whatever is done, is done, and there's no going back. But we will see whether you got lucky or not. So what have you been up to since then? Nothing much to be honest. I'm just continuing my job as a commodities trader. And is your job doing well since you left the show? Yes, it is going well, but there's nothing different going on. So obviously everything is the same. And what do you do in your spare time? I'm very interested in current affairs, 
and I like getting involved in national and local contexts. Very explorable. So Nicholas, why have you voted for Megan? Well, just the same reason as Frank. Megan was the only one to get a question wrong, and she stopped us from reaching our target earlier in this round. And the question was about no points is nil for football, which I think she knew, but she flushed it up when she mistakenly said tennis, and the word describes for no points is love. Astonishingly Nicholas, you're right. And I'm very surprised that she's blown her second chance of winning the prize money because of that. Megan, who's 22 years old and has graduated from college, and thinks that nil is described as no points in tennis instead of football. You are definitely the first person to take the walk of shame, and it looks like everyone has already had enough of you because you were the only one who got a question wrong, and you stopped the team from reaching their target earlier in this round. It's time to go back home. Unanimously with six votes you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh no. I just can't believe that I got voted off in this very first round, because I was very excited to try and win the prize money again, just after I lost to Harry in my last appearance, which was a very shocking result. And for all of this, everyone is now going to laugh at me for my rubbish performance, and I'll never hear the end of it. While... Yeah. Round 2 you have reached your target in the last round so you have in the bank 2,500 pounds. Six of you left, we're cutting 10 seconds from the time, we'll start with the strongest link in the last round. And that's Angela. Let's play. The weakest link. Start the clock. Angela in a game of rugby how many points would you score a penalty? Three. Correct Nicholas. In food what tea is a name of a traditional Mexican dish consisting of a small handed corn or tortilla and is topped up with any filling. Taco. Correct Ravi. In the royal family Prince Charles is the prince of which country of the UK? Wales. Correct Frank. In music what's the name of the Canadian singer and guitarist who has released his 1984 hit single called Summer of 69? Brian Adams. Correct Evelyn. In video games which PlayStation 2's classic Grand Theft Auto character cannot speak. Can you repeat the question please? In video games. Which PlayStation 2's classic Grand Theft Auto character cannot speak. Oh that's Claude Speed. Correct Mark. If someone travels at 75 miles per hour how many hours would it take to reach 450 miles? Six hours. Correct, Angela. In history, the creature that breathes fire called the dragon was nearly always associated with the devil and Satan in the what times? Medieval times. Correct, Nicholas. In maths, if a box of chocolate cost 17 pounds and 50 pence, how much would it cost in half price? Is it 8 pounds and 75 pence? Correct, Ravi. Thank. All right team, you've reached and banked your 2,500 pound target again, and that was certainly better than the previous round, however, you had a chain of 8 correct answers in this round, so you could have got there earlier and quicker. But nevertheless that money will once again, go through to the next round, but one of you, will unfortunately, not. Who wasn't paying enough attention? Who do you think is starting to worry you? who has been taking their eyes off the bank balance deliberately. One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. In another impressive round, Ravi was the one who banked the two and a half thousand pounds, but Angela is the strongest link for the second round in a row. The weakest link statistically is Frank. But who will be next to go? Okay, voting over it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Nicholas. Evelyn. Nicholas. 
Nicholas. Nicholas. Nicholas. Ravi, so you're finally an accountant? Yes, and I'm glad that I've qualified to become one. And what sort of roles do you do in this job? Well, I mainly prepare accounts and tax returns, keep the account books updated, and advise about how to reduce costs and increase profits. And do you like your job as an accountant, after succeeding your training? Oh yes. I'm just happy that I finally got my job as one, just a couple of weeks after I first appeared on the show. Good for you. And what do you do in your spare time when you're not working as an accountant? Well, I like going to cinemas with my friends, and I also play football with the local Sunday League team. Very sporty. I bet you're good at working as a team in football as well as working as a team when accounting, are you? Yes, I certainly am a good team player. So Ravi, why do you want a second chance of winning the weakest link? Because I was very close to winning the prize money, even after I got luckily spared a couple of times, and I was very shocked when I blew my chance in the sudden death round. And what has Nicholas done to upset you? I voted for Nicholas, because he didn't bank when he should have banked. And he was making an attempt of costing us every single penny in this round, and that really scares me the most. Did you think he was the weakest link? Yes. Well you were completely wrong, because he certainly wasn't. So Mark. What makes you want to come back here to try and win the prize money again? Because I did well when I first appeared on the show, and I've been gaining and banking loads of money for the team. And even that I was honest by saying that I don't mind losing to Linda, I thought of having another go and see if I get lucky and win again. Well, we will wait and see. So you're still selling cars then? Yes. And how are you getting along with selling cars? Any interest in cars you sold? Actually, I've been selling sports cars from Ford and Lotus. Nice. And speaking of Lotus, which is a very interesting and expensive made, what sort of sports cars did you sell? The sports cars from Lotus I sold are Esprit, Elise, and Carlton. Wow. Those are very extreme rides. And how do you turn off when you're not selling cars? Nothing much to be honest. But since I first appeared on the show, I bumped into Linda when I was ready to leave, and we went for a ride together, and she was so delighted. Very nice. So Mark, why do you want to get rid of Nicholas? Because just like Ravi said, he didn't bank when he should have banked. I mean, come on, this could have cost us significantly, oh, and Rick. that was a hell of a lot worse than what happened in the sixth episode. So because of this, it's certainly all over for him, and it's definitely time for him to go. Okay then. Well, surprisingly, he wasn't the worst player in this round, but as you know it's votes that count. Nicholas, you may have not been the worst player in the round, but you didn't bank the two and a half thousand pound target when it was at stake, which is why Ravi Mark and the rest of the team wants to get rid of you unanimously. It's time to go back to being a commodities trader once again. With five votes you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I am absolutely livid. I can't believe these idiots voted me up just because I didn't bank the jackpot in the round. That is completely rich and selfish of Ravi to say that he was very scared that I was attempting to make the team lose all the money, and Mark is just an obnoxious person who acts like such a know-it-all. I really don't care who wins, because all of them are backstabbers, and neither of them deserve the prize money at all. Round 3. You've managed to reach your target twice in a row. You now have in the kitty 5,000 pounds. There are five of you left, we're cutting another 10 seconds from the time, we'll start with the strongest link in the last round. And that's Angela. Let's play. The weakest link. Start the clock. Angela what is the last letter of the Italian alphabet? Zeta. Correct Ravi. In social media what was the name of Deji's YouTube channel until he changed it to just his own name in 2019? Pass. Comedy Shorts Gamer. Frank and Pop Culture what us is a shorter word for taking a self-portrait of yourself. Selfie. Correct Evelyn. In the periodic table which chemical element has the atomic number 3? Lithium. Correct Mark. Which American car manufacturer produces neon, viper, and charger? Dodge. 
Correct, Angela. What does the film certificate you stand for? Universal. Correct, Ravi. Thank. In the Gregorian calendar the Jewish people celebrate Hanukkah every year for eight days in which month? December. Correct, Frank. In fashion the word Jordans is a name for which clothing accessory? Shoes. Correct, Evelyn. In the Winnie the Pooh books by A. A. Milne which character bounces with his tail? Tigger. Correct, Mark. Bank. How many weeks are there in five fortnights? Ten. Correct, Angela. In public transports the AEC route master bus was first invented in which year of the 1950s? 1954. Correct, Ravi. What are the two primary colors that feature on the national flag of Spain? Yellow and red. Correct, Frank. In which decade of the 20th century was the pop icon singer Madonna born? The 1970s. No. Nope, the 1950s. God's sake. Evelyn in the animal kingdom. The two vertebrate animals that produces eggs are birds and which other? Reptiles. Correct, Mark. Bank. Are the two names Romeo and Juliet represented on the phonetic alphabet? No. Yes. Angela in the solar system. How many moons does Jupiter have? 79. Correct, Ravi. Bank. What's the name of the main antagonist in the Shakespeare? Time's up. I cannot complete the question. So, after getting rid of Megan for stopping you from reaching your first target and then managing to do so, and then getting rid of Nicholas who forgot to bank the second target when it was at stake, you have started to fall apart in this round, you bank just 850 pounds. Do you know what else is disappointing? It's that you had a chain. Of 10. Correct. Answers. So if you've been banking intelligently, you could have reached your target for the third time. Who is next, to get the pointy end of the stick? Who do you think is no longer strong enough? One of you, is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off. The weakest link. For the third round in a row, Angela is still the strongest link, since she answered the most questions correctly. Frank is the weakest link again, having lost the team the most money in this round. On the other hand, Ravi was the one who banked the most money once again. Who will collect the votes next? Okay, voting over it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Frank. Frank. Mark. Mark. Ravi. We have a tie, Frank and Mark, two votes each. Evelyn. You're still a musician then? Yes, that's right. And what have you been up to during your music job? I have gathered myself a marching band, and I taught them how and when to sound their musical instruments. What a great idea you made! And speaking of your marching band, did you come up with a name? Actually, yes I did. The name of my marching band is called The Shifting Eves. That interestingly comes up with your nickname on it. Is there anything that you taught your band? Well so far I made a birthday song for my birthday, which was a couple of months since the last show, so I shared and taught them this song. Even though there will be some more songs I can teach them later on. Especially during my free time. Happy birthday to you for that. So tell me Evelyn, what makes you want to try and win a game? Because at the end of the day, I'm the one who deserves the prize money the most since I only got one question wrong in my last appearance, and I just got completely hacked off for falling apart dramatically. And why have you voted for Mark? Well even though I know that he wasn't the weakest link, but to be honest, he is extremely arrogant for me, especially after we all voted for Nicholas in the last round, but his comments were just very rude and aggressive. I see. So Ravi, why have you voted for Frank? Well, not only that it was between him myself and Mark who made a wrong answer, but Frank made the team lose the most money that I passed on in this round. Right. Well, when the vote is tied, 
The strongest link gets to cast the deciding vote. And the strongest link, once again, was Angela. Angela. Long time no see. Yes indeed. I'm surprised it's been a year and a half since I appeared on the first show. And what makes you want to try and win the weakest link again? Because I banged the most money out of the others and I played very strongly as well. Well, this might be surprising to you Angela. But your opponent William has played very strongly as well. And not only that he has bravely faced you in the final, but he has actually beaten you at the end of the head-to-head -head round. Well, I guess I wasn't lucky enough. I'll try harder if I'm in the head-to-head -head round again. Do you think you're going to get all of your questions correct throughout the game then? Well I can't say for certain, because like I said, it depends on how my knowledge goes. Okay. So you're still a local government officer? Yes. And how is your job going? I'm just continuing to help people with the housing and plans department. And also, we've been socializing about improving policies for people's housing as well. It seems to be working for residents I believe. And I almost forgot from last time, what do you do when you're off work? Well, I just like walking around the countrysides and listening to birds singing. That's very natural. So Angela, you voted for Frank, but you now have a choice. You can either stick with Frank or change your vote to Mark. What's your decision? I would like to stick with Frank. Why? Because Ravi and Mark at least banked some money in this round unlike Frank. And just like Ravi said, Frank was the one who cost the most money for the team. So I'm certain that Frank was the worst player in this round. Fair enough. Frank. The 35-year-old barber, who was the best player in his previous appearance, but then has managed to make the team lose the most money in this round, which was a very shocking result. Well because of this Angela and Ravi have both had enough of you, and it's now time for you to go back to your barber shop. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Oh my freaking god. I can't believe I blew my chance a lot earlier than the last time, because I was actually the best player in the last show, and I was very close to winning the prize money. Okay, I may have been the only one who failed to bank any money in this round, but, Angela could have at least spared me another chance which she refused, and, I really hope she doesn't win. Round 4 in the kitty you have 5,850 pounds so far, but if you've been reaching your target for the third time you could have won 7,500. You're down to four players, we're cutting another 10 seconds from the time, you now only have two minutes. We'll start with the strongest link in the last round. And that's Angela. Let's play. The weakest link. Start the clock. Angela in the television who is the second presenter of Love Island starting from January in 2020. Laura Whitnell. Correct Ravi. In which Scandinavian country is the sixth richest country in the world? Is it Norway? Correct Evelyn. What's the official spoken language in Uruguay? Spanish. Correct Mark. Which sport would you associate Gary Anderson? Dots. Correct Angela. Bank. In politics Gordon Brown was the leader of which political party? Labour. Correct Ravi. According to the proverb, there is a what kind of metal in the rough? Diamond. Correct Evelyn. In literature which Jane Austen novel is about youthful hubris and romantic misunderstandings? Emma. Correct Mark. In the comedy cartoon series The Simpsons which American singer sings the Capital City song? Tony Bennett. Correct Angela. Bank. In a game of football if a player takes his shirt off in celebration which colored card would he receive? Red card. Even yellow card. Ravi which Elliot chuckled brother has died in August 2018 due to bone cancer. Paul Elliot. No Barry Elliot. Evelyn in math spot is a quarter of 76. 19. Correct Mark. In music what's the nationality of the rapper Travi McCoy? American. Correct, Angela. In the U.S. currency the word buck is an informal word to one what? Dollar. Correct, Ravi. 
Pink, if someone's cholesterol level is high they must avoid eating what? Saturated fat. Correct, Evelyn. Which British and Irish racing and time trial cyclist and writer has represented at events including Commonwealth Games? Michael Hutchinson. Correct, Mark. Bank. Which term is used for someone who has fear of horses? Pass. Time's up. The correct answer was equinophobia. You did better in this round team. You banked 1,350 pounds. But disappointingly, you had a chain of 8 correct answers in this round, so you could have yet again reached your target. Who has been banking too soon, and not continuing to build the chain? Who is starting to reduce their confidence? One of you, is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off. The weakest link. For the first time in the game, Evelyn is now the strongest link because she failed to answer any questions incorrectly. Having got a question wrong, and banked the least money, Mark is statistically the weakest link. In this round, Angela was the one who banked the most money for the team. Will this help during the votes? Okay, voting over it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Evelyn. Evelyn. Mark. Evelyn. Mark. Who apparently seems to feel smug. Why did you vote for Evelyn? Did you think she was the weakest link? Yes I did, because due to all of us getting a wrong answer, she was the only one in this round who didn't bank any money. And not only that she didn't appreciate that I banked some money in the previous round, but she also had the temerity to say that I was arrogant, when I clearly wasn't. Rubbish, I don't believe you. Because Evelyn got all of her questions correct throughout the whole game, and she was the strongest link in this round, and I can tell by the look of arrogance on your face, which makes me think that Evelyn was right about you. So Ravi. Who thinks that Paul Elliott Chuckle has passed away in August 2018 instead of Barry Elliott Chuckle? What makes you think that Evelyn was the weakest link in this round, when she wasn't? Because I completely agree what Mark said, she didn't bank any money in this round, because it is very vital to bank in the later rounds, so that's the main reason why I voted for her. But come on. You could have at least let her bank some money, even in the next round. Since she didn't get any questions wrong, I thought I know you, but I guess not. And finally Angela, who thinks that someone takes their shirt off in football celebration gets straightly sent off instead of being warned. What's your excuse for voting for Evelyn? Well, just exactly what Mark and Ravi said, Evelyn didn't bank at all in this round. And due to that, it gives me Mark and Ravi a chance to start a round since we were the only ones who have been banking money in the game so far. Well, due to you saying that, you are just not giving her a chance to bank some money in the later rounds, because she didn't get any questions wrong. And also, you said that you couldn't stand anyone making the wrong decisions in your previous appearance. Well it looks like Evelyn can no longer stand you for voting for her. Well Mark was statistically the worst player in the round, and you three so-called finalist losers have decided to be such first-class cowards, by disgracefully voting Evelyn off. But unfortunately, it's votes that count. Evelyn. The 45-year-old musician. You didn't get any questions wrong, which was so far better than your previous performance, and I'm sorry to say this, since you were the strongest link in this round. But I'm afraid the team got upset because you didn't bank in this round unfortunately, and they don't want you here anymore because of that. With three votes you're the weakest link. Goodbye. This is so unfair, I cannot believe that I got voted off in this round. Besides, I wasn't even close to being the weakest link, I didn't get any of my questions wrong in today's game which was a lot better than my previous appearance. I don't care which of these numpties will win the game, 
because they were all just very scared that I would win, and they don't even deserve the prize money. Round 5. You now have in the bank £7,200 so far when you could have won £10,000. They are now only three of you left. And the finalist losers we still have are Angela the local government officer Ravi the accountant and Mark the car salesman. We're cutting another 10 seconds from the time, you hypocrites have cowardly vaulted off the strongest link in the last round, so we'll start with the second strongest. And that's Angela again. Let's play. The weakest link. Start the clock. Angela, in which West African country would you find the French colonial legacy? Nigeria. Nope, Ivory Coast. Ravi, if a motorbike travels at 38 miles per hour on a bus at 55 kilometers per hour, which one travels faster? The bus. Nope, the motorbike. Mark in electronics which year of the 2010s was the Nintendo Switch released? 2017. Correct, Angela. What's the name of the two Jenna sisters in the Kardashians TV series? Kylie and Kendall. Correct, Ravi. What's the nationality of the urban sports cowboy Nedge Dupree? British. Correct, Mark. Ford is a car manufacturer made from the United States and which other country? It's New Zealand. No, it's not. So-called car salesman. The correct answer is Australia. Oh my god. Angela, in religion the Hindus pray at their homes in the temple and during a what? Pilgrimage. Correct, Ravi. Who was the winner of the Great British Bake Off in 2019? David Atherton. Correct, Mark. In the royal family who is the Queen's youngest son? Prince Edward. Correct, Angela. According to grading at college or university, the three different qualifying grades are past merit and which other? Distinction. Correct, Ravi. Bank. In the British Army, which is the least senior rank? Private. Correct, Mark. In social media, Charles Marvin Green Jr. who has died in 2017 was better known as what? Angry Grandpa. Correct, Angela. Bank. Which Canadian singer has the following albums? Crazy Love. Higher, and nobody but me. Michael Bublé. Correct, Ravi. In money, what is the currency of China? Renminbi. Bank. Time's up. That was the correct answer, but your bank was well out of time. And after claiming that Evelyn didn't bank in the previous round, you'd think your performance would be better, but nope. It's gotten even worse. You banked a pathetically mediocre 600 pounds. You answered 8 questions correctly in a row, and you're still banking too early. No wonder you got rid of Evelyn. You would have stood no chance, either of you. Never mind in round 6 you get the chance to treble what you bank, so potentially, there's 7,500 pounds to be won. The question is. Do you have the ability, to correct your behavior in this round? Then the last round. Who do you think will not be lucky enough to be in the final for the second time? Because one of you, of course, is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Having banked £500 for the team, Ravi is the strongest link for the first time. The weakest link is Mark again, because he answered the least questions correctly, and lost the team the most money. But, can he survive for the final, for the second time in the game? Okay, voting over it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Mark. Mark. Angela. Angela. Why have you voted for Mark? Because he's been lacking in the banking department, and he's cost us some money in this round, due to getting the Ford car manufacturer question wrong since he's selling cars. Right. And finally Ravi. Why Mark? Because in my opinion he's not doing as well as he did in his last appearance, and just like Angela said, he's been costing us some money, which is no good. I apologize Mark, but I'm afraid it's time for you to go. That's fair enough. Mark. The 34-year-old car salesman, 
who thinks that the Ford car manufacturer from the United States is also from New Zealand instead of Australia. Let's be honest, you didn't do as well as you did in your last appearance, you were the weakest link twice in a row, and you have been lacking in the banking department in this round, which Angela and Ravi are not happy about. It's now time for you to go back to selling cars. With two votes you're the weakest link. Goodbye. Well, I may be disappointed that I didn't make it to the final like I did last time, but I'm so glad that I made it to the final three, and I can accept that I was the weakest link, and I was voted off fairly. I think without a shadow of the doubt Angela will win, despite the fact that this wasn't her strongest round, she was actually stronger than Ravi throughout the rest of the game. Round 6. In the bank you have £7,800, out of a potential prize money of 12500 Angela and Ravi, just the two of you left. You now only have 90 seconds but whatever you win will be trebled and added to the total winnings of the previous rounds to make your final prize money, so £7,500 is at stake. We'll start with the strongest link in the last round. And interestingly, that is Ravi. Let's play. The weakest link. Start the clock. Ravi which art form has Saint Cecilia as its patron, music or sculpture? Music. Correct Angela. In geography which city of the UK is situated on the river Cam? Cambridge. Correct Ravi. In nature the impatience plant is better known as busy what? Lizzie. Correct Angela. If someone was born in mid-October which star sign of the zodiac would they have? Libra. Correct Ravi. Bank. In the song 12 Days of Christmas how many lords are leaping? 10. Correct Angela. In the 1989 classic Batman film what is the name of the actor who plays the Joker? Jack Nicholson. Correct Ravi. Bank. In physics is it true or false that fire can make shadows? False. True. Angela in fashion what type of clothing accessory is a duster? Jacket. Correct Ravi. In which year of the 2000s did the professional wrestler The Undertaker win the Royal Rumble match? 2007. Correct Angela. In the comedy cartoon series Family Guy what is the name of the Griffin's talking baby? Stewie Griffin. Correct Ravi. In a game of darts what score would you get if you throw a treble 19, a double 11 and a single 15? Is it 94? Correct Angela. Bank. In biology if someone has... Time's up I cannot complete the question. And you only got one question wrong in this round, but you still haven't managed to reach your target, you banked 1,100 pounds. Nevertheless we will treble that and add it to the total winnings of the previous rounds, so that makes the total prize money today, of £11,100. However, only one of you will take that money home. You will now be playing against each other head to head I'll ask up to 5 alternating questions each whoever answers the most questions correctly wins the prize money, it's as simple as that, if we have a tie after 5 we'll go for sudden death until we have a winner. So therefore, Angela and Ravi, for £11,100. Let's play. The weakest link. Angela, as the strongest link in the last round you have the choice of who goes first. I'll go second. Ravi. According to the fictional characters. By the American cartoonist, Charles Adams. Which, day of the week is also known as Wednesday Adams, middle name. Thursday. No, the correct answer is Friday. Angela. In public transports. What F is the name of the National Railway Service, which has retired in 2014? First Capital Connect. That's the correct answer. Ravi. In geography, beginning with the letter E, out of all UK counties, which one has the least 
Letters. Essex. That's the correct answer. Angela. According to the five children of the YouTuber, Daddy L5. Which one is the second oldest? Alex. No, the correct answer is Ryan. Rabvi. In politics, which decade of the 20th century did the former president of the United States, Woodrow Wilson, die? The 1920s. That's the correct answer. Angela. In sport, the England team has lost the Euro World Cup in 2020 to the team of which European country? Italy. That's the correct answer. So far you are both level. Ravi. To take the lead. In technology. Which year of the 2010s did the Microsoft Windows XP ended its support? After 12 years. 2014. That's the correct answer. Angela. In a game of snooker. The game begins. With how many red balls? 10. No. The correct answer was 15. Angela. Oh my god. Ravi. If you answer this question correctly, you have one. So. For 11,100 pounds. In the periodic table, what number would you get if you add the atomic number of iron to the atomic number of iodine? Is it 79? That is the correct answer. Yes. That means Ravi. You are finally today's strongest link and you go away with 11,100 pounds. Angela. Again. You leave. With. An abysmal. Nothing. Join us again for the weakest link. Goodbye. I am even more hacked off. I really thought that I was going to win the prize money this time because I played the game a lot more stronger than the last time. But, no! Yes, I'm so happy to win the weakest link and the prize money that I won was double the amount that I lost to Gary. So the winners can laugh, and the losers can plead themselves. <laughs>